The F-16 Fighting Falcon is a supersonic multi-role fighter jet developed by the General Dynamics Company, later acquired by Lockheed Martin for the United States Air Force. It was originally designed as an air superiority fighter but eventually evolved into a very popular multi-role fighter. The ability of the F-16 to be used for all kinds of missions is what makes it very successful in the export market and is used by 24 countries other than the United States. This aircraft is very popular in the eyes of the international and has been used by 25 air forces around the world. The F-16 is the largest and most significant Western Bloc fighter project. With around 4,000 F-16 units already in production since 1976, this aircraft has not been manufactured for the United States Air Force but is still produced for export. In 1993 General Dynamics sold the aircraft manufacturing business to Lockheed Corporation, which subsequently became part of Lockheed Martin after merging with Martin Marietta in 1995. The F-16 itself is known to have excellent combat capability in the air with innovations such as a frameless cockpit lid that enhances vision, side control handles for easy control at high speeds, and cockpit seats designed to reduce the effect of G-force on pilots. This aircraft is also the first fighter aircraft made to withstand the turning power at 9 grams acceleration. The F-16 has an M-61 Vulcan rifle inside the fuselage and 11 pylon locations to carry weapons and other mission equipment. The official name of the F-16 itself is Fighting Falcon. But Viper is more commonly used by ground crews and pilots due to its similarity to the Snake Viper D and Starfighter Colonial Viper from the Battlestar Galactica TV show. The F-16 is now active in the United States Air Force, the Air Force Reserve Command, and the National Air Guard Unit. This aircraft is also used by the Air Force in 25 other countries including Indonesia and Singapore which are currently upgrading their F-16s. Singapore, Lockheed Martin Corp, Fort Worth. Texas received $67,584,243 for a contract to increase Singapore's F-16 fighter planes. Work will be carried out at Lockheed Martin Aeronautics, Fort Worth, Texas, and in Singapore. Released by the U.S. Department of Defense website, the 2nd of November 2020. This contract is expected to be completed on the 30th of June 2023 and is an acquisition of foreign military sales for the Singapore government. This contract is a single source acquisition and the total cumulative value of the contract is $1,008,584,243. The Air Force Life Cycle Management Center, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio is a contracting activity. The U.S. Defense Ministry in its release did not specify the specifications of the Singapore F-16 fighter aircraft modification. <laughs> Indonesia, the Indonesian Air Force, through the Falcon Star and EMLU programs, has successfully upgraded the F-16 TS-1610 fighter aircraft. For this activity, the Air Force to PT. Durgantara, Indonesia, with supervision carried out by the Lockheed Martin team in the United States, was released by the Indonesian Air Force website, February 18, 2020. We must be proud. The Indonesian nation has been able to upgrade the F-16 aircraft to be more sophisticated, equivalent to the most recent aircraft, capable of carrying long-range missile weapons. Equipped with the latest radar and avionic, said Air Force Chief Marshal Yuyu Satizna. After witnessing the first flight ceremony of the F-16 TS-1610 aircraft at the Air Squadron 3 Linodis with Judy Madian, East Java, Tuesday the 18th of February 2020, Rector of Air Marshal Yuyu Satizna said the Falcon Star and EMLU programs increased airframe, avionic, and F-16A, B fighter system armament, and maximizes service life to 8,000 actual flying hours. 
through the Falcon Star and EMLU programs. The F-16A, the aircraft finally managed to air again. With the flying of the TS-1610 aircraft today, it is proof of achievement that the sons of the nation are also capable of independently upgrading fighter planes owned by Indonesia, said Kasau proudly. Air Marshal Yuyu Satisna hopes that related parties can increase cooperation even better so that nine other F-16 aircraft can immediately fly back into space. I am optimistic that this first success, coupled with the existence of constructive input from Lockheed Martin, will pave the way for the acceleration of the process of upgrading nine other F-16A B aircraft, concluded military marshal Yuyu Satisna. The ceremony was marked by the signing of TS-1610 fuselage by Kasau accompanied by Pan Koop Sao Tu and Dan Lena Diswajudi. The activities continued with TS-1610 flight test piloted by Dwayne Bro Opella and ended with water salute after landing. Also attending the event were Corsali Rafters, Ezraina Rafters, Aesops Rafters, Danko Armatau, Aspam Rafters, Aspers Rafters, Pankoops Al Ion 2, Director of Technology and Development of BT, Durgantara Indonesia, Dan Lana Diswajudi, Head of the EMLU Project and Representative from Mr. Lockheed Martin Josh Stewart.